Hello and welcome to the Villa Park Podcast. It's me, Rich, and I'm here with your fixture release reaction show. Yes, that's right. The fixtures are out already for the 24-25 Premier League season. We're going to get into it. See who we've got first. West Ham away, 5.30 kickoff on the Saturday. And we end the season at Old Trafford against Manchester United. Where will we be in the league by then? And we've got everything else in between. Before we get into it and have a little deeper look into the fixtures make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button let me know your thoughts in the comments which is our toughest month what does our opening five or six games look like what do you think we'll end up on at the end of the season as well we can start to dream now can we start to dream about winning that league who knows we've obviously got champions league as well fixtures to come in uh, in the future so yes let's get into it as i said before West Ham away is first game of the season. Um, <clears throat> so not a too bad a start, in my opinion. West Ham, then Arsenal at home, then Leicester away finishes August. And then we've got two home games in September, Everton Wolves and then Ipswich away finishes the first six games of the season. So to me, I don't think that's too bad, you know. Um, good home game to start the season off. Obviously, Emery against Mikel Arteta, which would be good. West Ham, never an easy place to go, but we've we've had some decent results there over the over the last few years. Obviously, got a draw last season as well. So, could be worse, could be worse. Man United at home, 5th of October. Can we get our own back on them? November, to me, looks a bit of a toughie. Tottenham away, Liverpool away and Chelsea away. And the only home game in November is Crystal Palace at home. So that November looks really tough. Christmas fixtures, um, pretty good, pretty, pretty decent fixtures. A lot of home games there. So 21st of December, Man City at home. Can we repeat last season's victory? Newcastle away on Boxing Day, a long old trek for everyone. Not for me, although unfortunately I'm on holiday. Well, not unfortunately. Fortunately, I'm on holiday over over Christmas, but um, it's a shame to miss that game for me because it's very local. 29th at home against Brighton and the 4th of January at home to Leicester City. So could be an opportunity to get some points over Christmas. Home games galore. Um, So that will be that will be really good. Everton away on the 14th of January. We always play Everton away in January. And then at other ones, Wolves away 1st of Feb. So, you know, local derby then. Um, 21st of September, as I said, we've got Wolves at home. So um, decent, decent dates for the derby there. And finally, last couple of games of the season or last month of the season, Fulham at home, Bournemouth away, Tottenham at home and then Manchester United away final game of the season will we be in that top four contention will we be in the in the champions um, of England contention who knows who knows but it certainly gets our appetites uh, whetted for this upcoming season I know we'll be half five kickoff on the Saturday so we're on Sky for the West Ham game which is good and then I think they're hoping to get August and September confirmed fixtures for TV by the 5th of July. So hopefully that'll be all arranged and we'll know exactly what's going on with with regards to travel. Um, Yeah, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who are you most looking forward to facing? Me, November looks a tough month. Be interesting to see where we are at in March and April and May for, you know, the running. Hopefully we're in that that shout for Champions League still. It's going to be a tough season. We know, obviously, there's still talk about players going at the minute, maybe one or two incomings, but we need to get this situation sorted with profit and sustainability. I think the Douglas Louise deal will be done by the end of the week. Illing Jr. and Weston McKenney coming in. Uh, and we know Alicia Lehman is moving as part of the deal to Juventus. Um, so that's an interesting one. Ian Matson is being discussed along with John Duran, but Chelsea are always going to say they've got more options. But that does look like it's moving. And then anything else after that, we'll have to wait and see. Alex Bayena apparently available for 35 million. So could we put in a bid for him? Interesting stuff, but we'll be back tonight for the fans forum. So please get your comments, get your questions in for tonight. There's not been too much in terms of transfer activity. Just mentioned the Douglas Louise uh, situation there, but anything you want to talk about on that. Obviously, the Euros, John McGinn didn't have a great debut. Yuri Tielemans didn't have a great first game, obviously came off the bench. Esri Conser and Ollie Watkins, will we see them in the upcoming group games? 
we'll, we'll get into all of that moving forward. So, yeah, join us for Fans Form tonight at 9.30. But, yeah, fixtures are out. It's starting. The season is almost upon us a couple of months' time before we kick off for the new season at West Ham. So, yeah, interesting one. Thank you, everyone, for watching. As I said before, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment below what your thoughts are on the fixture releases and, and what you think um, we're going to do for the rest of the, for this season, upcoming season. So, yeah, be interested to get your thoughts. Tune in tonight for the Fans Forum. And as always, thank you for watching. And remember, we all follow the Villa.